Welcome to Kraftwerke. I just wanted to uh, had a bit of a play around today, just with something very basic. Um, always been looking for a way to um, easily, well, there's 10 million ways to etch um, enclosures and metal and stuff, but I'm looking for an easy way that can be done quickly. So this is just the bottom plate. I've had this for ages. I've had these printed through Vista Print. These are basically stickers and I can now use them on anything, but they're very small. So they're basically, what are we talking about? 45 millimeters, so that's really tiny. I uh, made some bigger ones as well, but the whole point of this was so that they fit nicely on an enclosure. So um, I stuck them down, cut it out. Obviously that's a massively meticulous little fiddly thing. And I don't think it's perfect. It's actually, I can see that it's far from it. Um, but if you had a nice wee way of blocking out what you don't want edge, that's a good way to do it. Um, there's, there's, there's different ways of doing that as well. But I was gonna try this. I also used um, the um, painter's tape here, left the gap because I wanted to see how clean uh, and straight the line is with, um, if you etch, with um, painter's tape. This should be quite okay. I did a quick test on an old knife earlier and it was fine. So literally all you need is some really uh, strongly diluted um, uh, saline, so salt, nine volt battery. And what if we got the plus goes on to this thing. So what I did earlier was I did it very quickly. The plus. You can use little crocodile clamps and stuff like that. This is really quick and easy. Let's get away from that pole, you little shit. So that's the positive. On to the positive. tape it down so it doesn't move. This is the one I used earlier. I'll show you what I did here. It was actually quite clever as always. Hope I'm in shot here. Sorry guys. So now this worked perfectly on a stainless steel knife. This is now aluminium and we're literally doing it as we not done this before on aluminium. I just wanted to do it, film it, and see what happens. Um, okay, so what I've done is I fanned this out for a reason. I wanted the electricity to be nice and kind of spread out going into one of these guys. So I'm putting this. In like that and folding it and folding it again obviously something with a rubber <coughs> so my hands don't get on it squishy squashy get some toilet paper to get rid of the excess now this is just a wee 9 volt yeah <coughs> I'm just going to dip this in here Soak it, get the excess off, so it's just a wee bit of wetness. Let's try this piece first. You see it's already I don't know if you can hear that, but it's making like a, a bubbling noise. I don't can touch this. I want to show you what happens. I don't know if you can hear this. Listen. Hear that? And I'm surprised because this is just a nine volt little battery it's not even like a anything massive so let me just get you back in shot and we're gonna do the little logo okay 
I'm going to turn it sideways. Now these stickers are car stickers, um, printed by Vistaprint. So and that's why I kind of use them because they are obviously waterproof. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oops, is it warm? Yep, it's warm, obviously. But it's not hot, so I don't think we're on any with a nine volt battery, any sort of electrical shock danger or anything. I'm really burning this guy because I want to see how crisp the edges are. Now the little piece I tried on the knife was actually pretty sharp, and weirdly enough, um, now that's it. Take this off. That is a sharp line. Look at that. You see that. Okay. So now here in, so there's the line. That's just dirt. Now I didn't burn it very long. Some people are burning it for like quite a bit. So let's pull this sticker off. looking nice see to me to me it's all about the edges so it's about precision cutting that stencil out but I've noticed that if you use a sharpie to block it out it also works and it's even very that's great um, let me get a piece of... Uh, so this is very fine. Um, very fine. I don't like that. Because obviously, if you burn it deeper, well, I'm going to wash this quick. So what I've noticed by washing it, I don't know if you can see that. But that the blackness is coming off but you can see that the etching is in see that so i'm gonna try something quickly uh do we have acetone So the whole point of etching is that you can like, well, this is not ideal because this is not properly flat, but if I take a sharpie and I go in there, the ink will should sit in the recess, right? So that means that if I sand it, this needs to dry. The shop needs to dry. Because the recess is a bit deeper, 
it should make that a little bit yeah it's not deep enough so answer is edge longer does that make sense now you can take it off with acetone and the recessed stuff should stay a bit better more than the others but i think the trick is to uh recess deep um, edge deeper like that side there you can feel the indent i mean i like it already it can be a really rustic way of doing things and it didn't take me long to cut that out but it take too long unless it's a proper kind of bespoke uh, thing so anyway thanks for watching just a quick test on the play around.